Nehemiah chapter 7 from verse 2 to 3, I read from the New King James Version that I gave the charge of Jerusalem to my brother Hanani and Hananiah, the leader of the citadel, for he was a faithful man and feared God more than any. And I said to them, do not let the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot and while they stand guard. Let them shut and bar the doors and appoint guards from among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, one at his watch station and another in front of his own house. There are quite a few things we can learn from these two verses as concerns leadership. The first aspect is this. A leader gives clear instructions. A leader gives clear instructions. We just read that he gave Nehemiah gave charge to his brethren. And in those two verses, it clearly explains the charge which was assigned to each person. That's the first thing we want to learn. A leader gives clear instructions. The second thing, as much as you give out clear instructions, you want to give these instructions to people that you're sure will implement them. Here the Bible refers to these people as faithful men, people who feared God. So as a leader, you have that responsibility to identify in your crowd the people who can handle the instructions that you are delegating or the tasks that you're delegating to them. Because the purpose of you giving these clear instructions and delegating tasks is so that it could be implemented. Because what will it profit you to hand responsibility or, or responsibilities to a person or people who are unable to implement or who will not be faithful to implement the tasks? Moving on to verse 5 of chapter 7, it says, Then my God put it in my, into my heart to gather the nobles, the rulers, and the people, that they might be registered by genealogy. And I found a register of the genealogy of those who had come up in the first return and found written in it. So what are we looking at? We're looking at the fact that a leader is keen to follow godly instructions we're just moving from a place where the leader identified faithful people people who feared god so that he could hand or assign responsibilities to yes that is important and it's also important that we live by example nehemiah also expressed you know the ability to listen to instructions and implement the instructions. No doubt he surrounded himself uh, with people whom he could count on. So as a leader, you lead by example. As much as you expect much from the people, as much as you hold them accountable, the Lord also holds you accountable and expects much from you. To whom much is given, much is required. So my encouragement to you today is this. Seek opportunities to self-develop. As a result, you, you become a positive influence to the people you associate with. You can only hold somebody accountable for something um, only after you have become that example to them. If you are a thief, you cannot expect the people around you not to steal. But if you, you are somebody who speaks the truth, irrespective of the circumstances you find yourself, then you can hold the people accountable, the people around you accountable, to speak the truth irrespective of the circumstances they find themselves. Amen.